welcome back everybody to another video in this video i am gonna cover the bowers and wilkins cm5 hi-fi bookshelf speakers i've had these speakers for over a decade and i've just now decided to make uh, my take on it um, for the simple fact that i have some speakers that are coming and i want to review them and i'm gonna make this my benchmark sound as a reference because these so far in the house is my best and favorite speakers because it has every sound that I'm looking for and obviously you can get better ones but for me right now this is the best I have so I'm gonna make this my benchmark uh, as a reference so I can refer to this also, if you never heard of Bowers and Wilkins, or if you are interested, um, I'm pretty sure this one is discontinued, but I know they do make CM5s, S2s, and if you can't get that, they're still currently making the 600 series, 700 series. So you kind of get a general idea of the sound. And before I give you guys my experience with this uh, speakers the first thing I look for when I'm buying a bookshelf speaker obviously when you order something you don't really know the di dimensions I mean you do know the dimensions but you don't really know actually how what it, it's gonna look like even though you can measure it like invisibly but um, typically what I'm looking for in a speaker is that for a bookshelf speaker for the limb room, it's gotta have it's, the size gotta be a, a good size. So uh, you don't want it too small. Um, and you just want it to be like the right size. This this speaker here is the right size. Now, if if it was a little bit taller, bigger, that'd be fine too. But you just don't want it smaller than what it is here. And on top of that, being the size that it is it would fill the room better um, you would think also on top of that in a bookshelf I would like to have it look beautiful and the build on this is beautiful and the bookshelf itself is heavy so there's a lot of probably very important components that's in there and also even though this is a review for home theater surround sound for the speaker I would also like my speaker especially when it's a hi-fi speaker to sound good when you play music now I'm not an expert in hi-fi music but I've done my own tests and so far uh, the sound stage is there the imaging on it so like it the the way it sound is sounds pretty realistic to my ears so it's good enough for me um, when you're running two channel, even does even though it does have a, a little bass uh, for two channel, I recommend you run a subwoofer. Now, obviously, you can get uh, it's, it's the bass for two channel if you're just running it just for music for two channels, a high five. Even though the bass is decent, it's not gonna be the best. It's not gonna be like the comparable to a ten thousand uh, dollar speaker high five. Um, or even a bow cart that's like 3000 or whatnot. It's not going to be that type of hi-fi. But as far as music go, as long as it sounds good, the clarity is there, it sounds real, uh, it don't have to be the best music hi-fi there is because I'm using this for home theater. So... That is what I'm looking for, uh, first first and foremost, when I'm looking and shopping for a bookshelf. Now, starting off with my experience on this speakers that I've had for, like I said, more than a decade. When you, the dynamic range on it, so, is, you know, it's very good. So if you crank it all the way up, and blast it like I do to test it there's no distortion 
you can turn it all the way down and very low and you can still hear the clarity so that is that's another thing I'm looking for in the speakers where you can run it at a high volume and it doesn't get distorted on top of that it don't bust right so so I know that this is the longevity of this is very good um now the bass like I say you know uh depending on how what you do with your crossovers on your subwoofer but you still get some bass some kick out of that uh speaker depending on what movie you're watching so that's a plus to me for my ears i believe that this is more of a neutral uh speaker it's the sound is well balanced and it's a warm type of sound uh with natural tone so that is what i'm looking for and I'll, I mean, of course like the clarity of it is very detailed even though the clarity is very detailed the the mid-range and the treble on it it's, it's not too bright but the the mid-range and treble it's subtle so some people don't it's not as aggressive as some people would like for me, I'm okay with that. Um, like I said, it's even though it's clear, it's not too bright. And if it was too bright, you would just have to adjust your uh, system. And also, another reason I want to mention is that as far as speaker goes, I believe it's subjective to your ears, subjective to your system, what kind of whatever system you're running, what kind of speakers you have. But this is just my take on these speakers and have never disappointed me. I've moved it around many times. I've ran many receivers on it and it's always done me good. And so right out of the box, out of the right out of the gate, you don't have to tweak much. You don't have to tweak much on your system. It's just you plug it in, you hook it up and it's it's ready to go. So I been listening to this for so long that sometimes I forget that not every every not every speaker is made equally but for the price point back then for a pair of 14.99 back then I thought that was too much but seeing as everything else is so expensive now for bookshelf speakers that fourteen ninety nine a pair it was is a steal, and on top of that, they raised that fourteen ninety nine back then to like seventeen ninety nine or uh, they raised it a couple more hundred, and then on top of that, they came out with the new line, so that was I guess that's probably why they did that to be on par with the the newer uh, version, but anyway, I just wanted to mention that, so yeah, pretty much this speaker is my benchmark sound. It has everything that I want in a sound for a speaker, and I love the glossy finish. It's has never busted. I've <laughs> I've cranked it really, uh, really loud, and I've had these speakers uh, when I was running uh, AVRs that I didn't that I didn't have HDMI yet so i was running this speakers when i was it was just optical ports and it's always sounded great uh throughout the years and yeah and then the when i was able to afford a uh, higher and more powerful receivers um it just got better and better over time so if you didn't know, uh, this is a wonderful speaker. Highly recommend it. I'm pretty sure this is discontinued, but uh, I highly recommend Barton Wilkins uh, Hi Fi speakers. And even though the price seems crazy, um, it's well worth it because there's other brands out there you probably never heard of that cost a lot more. 
uh, and I'm pretty sure it's well deserving for their price point. But you know, at first, like I said, if you never know anything about Bibles and Wiccans, you're you're thinking like, wow, this is too high end. This this is way too expensive. Um, but there's other brands out there that are way or even more high end, and even cost ridiculously more amount. So when you look at and I'm pretty like I said, I'm pretty sure it's well deserved. But when you look at this, you're gonna be like, yeah, it's worth it. But just want to put that out there. And on top of that, um, also I decided to make this video because I didn't see anyone make any reviews on YouTube. Um, but like I said, it's probably because it's just known to be a good speaker. I uh, just never got anyone's, uh, I wanted to see if how people felt about it, but this is how I feel about it. This is my honest opinion. And um, oh, one thing I want to mention before I go, the the high frequency sound, like it travels in a, like a narrow beam in like a form of a, a, a wave. So for instance, if you're sitting in the middle of the room and the speakers, uh, between the speakers, it's you don't you don't know where the sounds coming from so even if you're on the left side of it you don't really you still don't know where the sounds coming from you just feel like it's everywhere but if you move from left all the way to right then you can tell that oh yeah you're on the right side but even then you don't know uh where the sound is coming from because it pretty much filled the whole room um and of course the middle of the the middle of it is the best uh, area to be so that is pretty much it for my review think about subscribing because i make helpful videos like this but i'll see you guys next time thanks for tuning in catch you in the next one hooded dragons out